Welcome to the next video in our series of Trainee to Trader using real life examples. In this video, we'll cover some real life examples of how you can choose whether to buy or to sell. So you've already started getting into the mindset of what a trade looks like and how to choose what to trade. The next most important decision you'll need to make is whether to buy or to sell that particular instrument. We said briefly in our last lesson that traders tend to buy when a currency is on the up or when they are feeling bullish about a currency. One real life example of this is with Bitcoin. Bitcoin supporters believe that this innovative crypto is going to appreciate in value over time. Maximalists even go so far as to state that one Bitcoin could be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars in our lifetime. So they quite obviously would be buying Bitcoin with the mindset that the value will increase. Remember, this is just one view and isn't trading advice. On the other side, there are people selling currencies that they believe will depreciate or go down in value over time. They are bearish. For instance, in January 2013, the Swiss National Bank made an announcement about the unpegging of the Swiss franc to the US dollar. Investors got scared and started selling. The value of the Swiss franc went sharply down in an event now referred to as the SNB black swan. My two examples here are historical and with the Swiss franc example, there was no way for investors to know in advance that this would happen. So how can you decide when to buy or sell? If you're new to trading, start simply and and slowly. Your homework for this lesson is to find a chart showing the value of a currency over one week. Have a look to see what the value currency is today compared to what it is a few days ago. Is the value trending upwards or downwards? Do you see yourself feel bullish or bearish in this currency? Pick a direction, up or down, and check in the same time tomorrow to see if you were right.